As the pale moon hung low in the midnight sky, casting eerie shadows across the quiet town of Black Hollow, I found myself drawn to the unsettling tale that had gripped this small corner of the United States for generations. It was a story whispered in hushed tones, passed down through the ages like a dark, unshakable secret. Tonight, I would uncover the truth behind the legend that had haunted the residents of this seemingly peaceful town for centuries. Black Hollow was a town steeped in history, nestled deep within the dense, ancient forests of New England. It was a place where the past and the present coexisted in a delicate balance, where the line between reality and myth was often blurred. It was a place where superstition ran deep, and the tale of the Wraithwood Witch held a chilling place in the collective memory of its people. The legend told of a woman named Eliza Hartwell, who had lived in Black Hollow in the late 17th century. Eliza was said to possess an otherworldly beauty that enchanted all who laid eyes on her, but her charm concealed a dark secret. She was rumored to be a practitioner of the dark arts, a witch with a penchant for necromancy and a thirst for eternal youth. One fateful night, as the story goes, the townsfolk discovered Eliza's sinister activities deep within the heart of Wraithwood Forest, a place that bore her name. A vigilante mob descended upon her secluded cottage, and with torches held high, they dragged her from her home. The air was thick with tension and fear as they accused her of consorting with demons and stealing the souls of innocent children to maintain her youthful appearance. With her raven hair disheveled and her eyes ablaze with an unnatural fury, Eliza was tied to a gnarled oak tree at the center of the forest. As the mob chanted incantations meant to strip her of her powers, she cast a haunting curse upon the town of Black Hollow. The curse was said to bind her spirit to the very woods that now bore her name, and with it, she vowed to exact her revenge upon the descendants of those who had wronged her. The curse was said to manifest in the form of a spectral apparition, a wailing, ethereal figure that roamed the depths of Wraithwood Forest. It was said that anyone who ventured too close to the forest at night would be lured in by the mournful cries of the Wraithwood Witch and never return. As a seasoned journalist with a penchant for uncovering the truth behind local legends, I had come to Black Hollow with the intention of exposing the myth of the Wraithwood Witch as nothing more than a tale spun to keep children from wandering into the woods after dark. But as I delved deeper into the history of the town and spoke with its inhabitants, I couldn't help but feel a creeping sense of unease. My investigations led me to an elderly woman named Agnes Meyerwood, who claimed to be a descendant of Eliza Hartwell herself. She lived in a ramshackle cottage on the outskirts of town and had a reputation for being reclusive and eccentric. Agnes agreed to speak with me but only under the cover of darkness, as she feared retribution from those who still believed in the curse. As I sat across from Agnes in the dimly lit room, the flickering candlelight casting eerie shadows on her weathered face, she began to recount a chilling tale that sent shivers down my spine. She spoke of her family's connection to Eliza Hartwell and how, for generations, they had been plagued by a series of inexplicable misfortunes. Agnes claimed that the curse of the Wraithwood Witch was all too real. She spoke of hearing the mournful cries in the dead of night, the same cries that had drawn countless souls into the heart of the forest, never to return. She described how the forest itself seemed to come alive, its twisted trees reaching out like skeletal hands to claim those who dared to enter. As Agnes spoke, I couldn't help but feel a growing sense of dread. The logical part of my mind fought to dismiss her words as the ramblings of a superstitious old woman, but the journalist in me yearned to uncover the truth, no matter how unsettling it might be. Driven by a morbid curiosity, I decided to venture into Wraithwood Forest one moonlit night, armed with nothing but a lantern and a sense of trepidation. The forest loomed before me like a living entity, its ancient trees standing sentinel in the darkness. The air was heavy with the scent of damp earth and decaying leaves, and the only sound was the rustling of leaves in the breeze. As I wandered deeper into the forest, I began to hear faint, mournful cries in the distance, like the keening of a lost soul. My heart pounded in my chest as I followed the sound, my lantern casting eerie shadows that danced in the darkness. The cries grew louder, more desperate, and I realized with a sinking feeling that I was no longer in control of my own movements. I was being drawn deeper into the heart of the forest, just as the legend had foretold. Panic gripped me as I tried to resist, but an unseen force compelled me forward. 
I stumbled over gnarled roots and tangled underbrush, my lantern flickering as if the very air itself sought to extinguish its flame. And then, I saw her. A spectral figure emerged from the shadows, her form ghostly and ethereal. Her raven hair cascaded around her like a shroud, and her eyes gleamed with an otherworldly light. It was the Wraithwood witch, Eliza Hartwell herself, and she reached out to me with spectral hands. In that moment, I knew the curse was real, and I was trapped in a nightmare that defied all reason. As her icy fingers closed around my wrist, I felt a coldness seep into my very soul. The world around me blurred, and I was overcome by a sense of utter despair. I awoke hours later, lying on the forest floor, my lantern extinguished and my body bruised and battered. I had no recollection of how I had escaped the clutches of the Wraithwood Witch, but I knew one thing for certain, the curse was real, and the legend of Black Hollow was far from a mere bedtime story. As I made my way back to town, the first rays of dawn breaking through the trees, I couldn't shake the feeling that I had witnessed something beyond the realm of human understanding. The legend of the Wraithwood which had become a harrowing reality, and I had narrowly escaped its clutches. Black Hollow would forever be haunted by the curse of Eliza Hartwell, a curse that bound her spirit to the very forest that now bore her name. And as I left the town behind, I couldn't help but wonder if the truth I had uncovered was a blessing or a curse in itself, for the line between myth and reality had become a dark and treacherous abyss, and I had stared into its depths and lived to tell the tale.